Oh, we got some more. We got more. Are you sure you don't want to just kill this? Because everybody is bored. <laughs> we should have ended like a half hour ago. <laughs> okay, Joe. All I know is you're a fucking regular at the Duns. So you're a big alcoholic. Yes. Yeah! <laughs> Alcoholism! Woo! Uh, so I'll start this way. Uh, so Bruno... I like you. Uh, <laughs> you make Smoking Bill sound okay. Oh, appreciate that. Oh, I appreciate that. Everybody give a hand for Bruno, right? Yeah. yeah. Ladies, I've seen you both at least once before. Um, I really like the way during, and this is cheating because obviously you guys didn't come with me to anything because I didn't even think I was going to do this, but whatever. Because um, a bunch of people pushed out and weren't on this thing, which is so weird, but I'm going to get to that in a minute. Um, Barney. But, bitch. Shh, we're going there. We're going straight to there. Don't give it away. Um, but I do appreciate how many times you ladies both said, I da ho. I know. It was great. I was a fucking, oh, this is the greatest. You guys have a wonderful yeah. school. Made me so happy. Anyway, so uh, let's get around to the man of the hour. Uh, so Barney was going to roast tonight, and at the last minute he's like, uh, I didn't prepare anything, and I'm kind of made out of vagina, and I'm sore right now, and I had to cook, and, and so he didn't do anything. Which reminded me, oh wait, so you said you got married, what, two summers ago? Is that right? Coincidentally, two summers ago was my 40th birthday. For my 40th birthday, thank you two summers ago. Uh, for my 40th birthday, my friends also roasted me. My friend Jesse was going to be on the dais for that. He was very excited about it. And then he just didn't show up. <laughs> You know, I was in the middle of the roast and I couldn't look out the windows to see if he was just flat out drunk on the sidewalk or went down the side of the hill next to Clever Duns. It's entirely possible. If he did, he would have ended up in that little dip in between Clever Duns and the Crescent, which is kind of where everybody like him ends up eventually anyway. Um, so, tonight is the first time that I've heard Jesse the Mexican. And it was very confusing to me. Jesse, can you take your glasses off just for a second? Oh, Please help me out. Uh, those are not Mexican eyes. Okay, those are a little ching chong ricey eyes. I did not know this the entire time. And when I did the initial, my initial bit, I'm gonna give this to you now because he's probably already heard it, but he was probably drunk and I doubt he remembers it, so it doesn't matter anyway. So. When I had first met him, he was going to be on the data. Yes, I wrote this. It took me some research. I had to consult with uh, one of my Japanese translator friends so I could get this right. Um, uh, but I said this, like, so I didn't at the time I didn't know you much. I know you more now, and I still don't know shit about you except that you're going with Mexican. Um, uh, uh, but uh, by way of thanks for showing up for the dais for my roast, uh, I should probably just scratch that. Okay, anyway, so apologies if my pronunciation is bad. Arigato Jesse san. Watashi wa hitobito ga senso chiyu. Ni hitobito o moyashita ima sakata. Sora o kayashi shita koto mo hishi waki arimasen. Udomo. Loosely translated. This means, hello Jesse. I am sorry that my people burned your people during the war. <laughs> but you guys started it. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm told uh, from my Japanese translator that you're welcome is an honorary and it's something that I should say to him because uh, it's his birthday. So, uh, Jesse, uh, happy birthday. Yeah. Asians. <laughs> How can you hate your people? <laughs> Is there anyone else that wants to talk shit about this guy tonight? Uh, no. Okay, well, let me just close with as much as we've all talked shit about this guy, he's a fucking great dude. Yeah. I I moved to Seattle, I slept on his floor, 
I heard him and Steffi fucking like <laughs> two feet away from me. That is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> it was. You know, oh, another first. I almost <laughs> forgot. The first time I played Slap Game in the Dark was with Jesse and Steffi. And we just ended up beating the shit out of Jesse and he started crying. And he's, just, he's like, why are you picking on me? But I mean, seriously though, this guy will fucking bend over backwards for you. As long as you don't live in Ballard. Yeah, I mean, I fucking live five blocks away from him, ten blocks away, and he won't even I go there. That. I heard it. I heard it. But uh, he's a good guy. He'll take you in if you need it, and uh, I think we're all we're all here for a reason. Thank you, Jesse, for being a giant piece of shit. Slash a great guy. Farther to fall, baby. Farther to fall. <laughs> oh, he shit. the chair because he can't chair. stand up for Scott Brown. Uh oh, uh oh. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> Can you get Bruno to perform it instead? <laughs> I try to. I try to get him to perform all the time. <laughs> try. Try. I spend a lot of time on my phone. Uh, Probably too much time, so I put all my jokes there. Uh, Brittany Hunt, thank you very much for roasting me. Thank you guys all for coming. Uh, this is the biggest waste of your time all week, I'm sure. Uh, Brittany Hunt, uh, if a Barbie doll could walk, talk, and huff glue. Uh, there are people who have met uh, Brittany and told me that they thought that she was vapid, vain, and ditzy. And to them, I say, after years of knowing her, they're exactly right. <laughs> it is true that I slept through a portion of her wedding, but not as many times as I slept through her talking about her wedding. She likes to organize events, and she's very good at it. Uh, she's very good at planning things. As a matter of fact, uh, she has the demasculation of Dan Hunt planned to a T for the next 50 years. I just wanted to say this because uh, it's my birthday party that if uh, anybody got me a cake, don't let Brittany anywhere near it because she has a history of ruining birthday cakes, right Celeste? And I would hate to see it uh, if it got dropped on the ground and I would hate to watch Erica eat it. <laughs> Erica Knute is a good sport. Erica, Eric, uh, when when I found out she was a day on the dais, I thought Erica Knute, this should be easy. But then again, I'm not the first man who's ever said that about her. Uh, I'm not saying that Erica is a slut, but I heard that they found Malaysian Flight 370 in her vagina. That's right, they found the black box in her pink one. <laughs> oh, Erica Knute, the one that God didn't finish. <laughs> Erica Knute has had some medical problems as of late. I fucking hate you. Um, as you know, her digestive system has been trying to des destroy her. Oh wait, I said that backwards. <laughs> I've seen Erica eat things at 2.30 in the morning that if you put in front of a goat, the goat would say, no, nah, I'm good, I'm trying to stay alive. <laughs> and they're all oh, <laughs> well, he probably prepared them for me, so. Uh, <laughs> Brad Peterson is here. Yeah. I like to call him old sob story Brad. <laughs> he comes into uh, he comes into Julia's uh, like about three or four times a day, and I'm not calling him an alcoholic, but um, if he whined as much as he drinks wine, oh wait, he does about his life. I'll tell you this, Brad. I'll tell you this. He's been telling me that he's been going through financial troubles, and he said, I don't know whether I should give up my Seahawks uh, tickets. <laughs> Or I should sell my boat, and I'm sorry, you're not going to get that much sympathy from the guy that's bringing you eggs. 
<laughs> Barney was supposed to be on the dais. Oh, yeah. Barney is a classy guy. As you can see, he's wearing his hockey gear. I think he does it so that people don't ask him why he's missing his teeth. <laughs> he flaked out today on the... He flaked out today on uh, roasting me. But that's just because as a friend, he's as reliable and, as, and dependable as his hairline. Oh. Is it cold in here, Barney? Okay. My good friend Adam Bruno is here. Yeah. He's been riding my coattails forever. <laughs> no. He has a thing for uh, big-titted women. <laughs> 